Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Heartland Road Warrior 430 RW 5th wheel toy hauler. This is a triple slide out toy hauler. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this new RV. Alright guys, we're now up inside the new Road Warrior 430 RW. We're going to start here in the middle section again and then head to the garage area and then we'll come back up to the bedroom area. But uh, kind of looking straight here, we are looking at the kitchen area. You have a pretty good size U-shaped kitchen section here. Some storage down below, undermount stainless sink, high-rise faucet, quite a bit of cabinetry and drawer space for a kitchen and an RV. Little LED accent lighting and stuff there. It's also a roof vent up above us. A lot of linoleum floor in the coach. Back behind us is our Furion oven. That has the little glass front, little storage door down below. Three burner stove top. You have the larger microwave section here. Some overhead cabinetry area. And then you do have the big residential fridge with the freezer on bottom. Now they do offer an option for a gas electric large refrigerator if you'd prefer that over the residential. Uh, most dealers stock it now with these large residentials. Um, so that's the way you'll usually find it on most dealers lots. But uh, if you need to special order one the other way, just let us know. We can do that for you, too. Large window area here. A lot of seating space for a fifth wheel. Um, a lot of times you can only sit, you know, two, maybe three people in some of these fifth wheel couches. Here you could do four pretty comfortably on that couch. And another three people over here on this uh l-shaped sofa over here so you know a lot of these rvs will sleep eight nine ten people but they seat two so it's nice to see that you can seat quite a few people in here electric fireplace uh dvd stereo system all that type of stuff there's another little loft area over here there's an electric outlet and there's also a little roof vent up there too spin back around so you can kind of see it from this side here if you guys are interested in keeping up with more of my videos please uh don't forget to like share and subscribe Try to update a lot of the new RVs as they come in and out of here. We have a lot of new stuff rolling in and out due to the mid-year model changes and things like that. So try to update them with the latest and greatest of these versions um, to see you kind of see what is the new stuff out there. Back here into the garage area. You do have a little half bath back here. Quite a bit of garage floor space here, so you can fit a good side-by-side -side in here if you need to. Uh, a couple motorcycles, some four-wheelers. You have the Happy Jack bed system here, which does give you the two sofas in the bottom. Uh, you got a little table that comes with it. It's up uh, under the mattress right there at the moment, but it does have a little table there. You could sleep four people back here in this section pretty comfortably. I ordered this with the three season door on the back. That's an option back there. So you don't have to get that if you don't like that feature. But that is a pretty cool feature. Allows you to kind of keep the heat and air conditioning in and out of here a little better. Now spin around here a little bit. And there is your washer dryer hookups if you wanted to do a washer dryer. Now the little half bath is kind of a smaller bath really good for kids or small people um, otherwise you probably have to leave the door open kind of kick the people out of the back area back here but this door is designed to spin back and latch up here on the ceiling and then you can unlatch this wall 
spin this section of the wall out of the way and latch it to get yourself an extra about four inches of width for a longer vehicle. And your little sink area out here. Up here, it's going to be a little hard to see. We're a little tight back here with this bed stuff down. But there is a flat screen TV up top. And you also have a little cabinet up there. Some of your controls, an electric outlet up there as well. And you have air conditioning and heat both back here in the garage. Speakers back here in the garage as well. I'm going to walk underneath of here a little bit just to kind of get out onto the patio area and show you. There's a little gate right there so you can walk out. And there's also steps which you see laying on the floor in there. You can kind of see here your door area back here. Now it has a little latch up there so you can pull that down and swing the doors out to load things. And then the two middle doors actually just slide closed. All right, we're going to walk on through up to the bedroom area. So on the step here, you have your central vac with your little dustpan vac there. Some of the controls, there is the, this right here does the 110 volt heat pads. Those same heat pads are also 12 volts, so it works either way. And you got a little control center here. Fuel gauges, slide controls, uh, buttons for your Yeti package, which is your winter package, monitor panels, all that type of stuff, along with some light switches and stuff are right here. It's a little closet here, which basically has a little shelf in it and a little hanging bar. Bathroom here on the right. Now you can enter this bathroom from the bedroom or from the hallway. I'm pan down here a little bit. So you got linoleum floor in here, foot flush toilet, some storage down below, solid surface countertop area here, little cabinet up here along with your medicine cabinet as well. Now there is a fan up top, little vent fan up here. And you do have your heat and everything. One piece fiberglass shower, which is really nice with a little glass enclosure and everything. But another thing that's a little unique is it actually has kind of a tub. That tub's probably a good, I'd say, 14 inches deep roughly or so. Um, so if you do have a small kid or something like that, or if you are a smaller person, you could probably lay down in there a little bit and kind of do a little bath. Over into the master bedroom area here, you have a camper king bed, some overhead cabinetry, more little backlit LED lighting. You're starting to see that on campers all over the place nowadays. Big window looking out over your campsite. There's a decent amount of room to get around the bed. And we're going to pan over this way a little bit, and you have a slide out over there, which that little closet slide in the hallway was part of this slide out. So you have some more hanging closet and drawer space, little uh, area over there to set things, a window, electric outlet back over there as well. Pretty good amount of room on this side of the bed. And you've got your flat screen TV over here on the wall. We're going to take a few minutes and head to the outside of the RV now. Kind of show you around the outside so you can kind of check everything out. Don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more videos.
All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new Road Warrior 430. And as you can see here, we're kind of checking out the door side rear section to start with and heading on around. We have the patio out still, so you can kind of see what that looks like from the ground here. There is, again, railing around there. You have steps that come down, touch the ground on the back. I don't have them out. They're laying in the garage. But, uh, you know, you got a step area there. Awning that comes out, that awning on the back is power, so you push a button, it goes in and out. There's an LED light strip on the end of it again. Your main awnings up here are both power as well, and they both have LED light strips built into the awning tubes. You have LED lights above both entry doors as well. Spare tire mounted underneath the rear section. It's a pretty cool little mount set up by BAL, and that actually drops down and telescopes out towards you, so you don't have to crawl under there necessarily and fight with the little cable to get it off. Um, so I like the little mount setup they're using. Step for the rear of the coach is a traditional hover step. They do this back here so it don't have to flip up into the garage and take up about six or eight inches of width back there. So it does save some garage space by going with the old school RV step. Now on your main entry door, they do the new more ride step and they do that in part because one, it holds more weight. Two, it allows them to put a door anywhere. As you can see, that door is straight above the axle where normally on these old schools, you could never do that. So that new step allowed for a lot of brands to modify their floor plans and try to make them a little more convenient. Triple axle unit. 16-inch um, wheels, G-rated tires. We'll get to the specs over there. Uh, hydraulic auto level system. More ride 3000 suspension system. Dexter never adjusts brakes. Um, unit has a large folding entry handle. Deep tent safety glass windows. Traditional screen door and stuff. Um, one thing I really do like that they've started doing now. Asdale composite sidewalls. So you have fiberglass, then Asdale, which does not rot, mold, and mildew like traditional wood Luon that is found on most RVs. So definitely like the improvement there. Also, this was ordered with the Canadian Arctic package. Good feature for those who like to winter camp or at least deep fall camp. TV outside here. Nice little flat screen area there. You do have outdoor speakers. There you can kind of see the little tube light there. Another cool feature, you do have a little outdoor kitchen area. So you have a little mini fridge out here, two burner stove, little hot and cold sink. Now the sinks are just little dump sinks though. They do not actually plumb into anything. Um, so that is something to keep in mind there. You do have a little dump sink. A um, little bit of storage down below that area. And then you have your gas line hookup, low point water drains there. Uh, gas electric water heater right there. Back up here a little bit, kind of let you look down the side a little bit better. Nice fiberglass molded cap, has uh, three LED light strips built into it. And also the cap is notched back there. You can kind of see it on the... Uh, cornering they do that for better turning radius for short bed trucks so that caps a little more bubbled out and sloped one 30 pound propane tank behind this door the other 30 pound propane tank is behind the other door on the other side there are some more tv hookups here if you want to do a second tv outside uh, bypass for your winterization stuff a battery disconnect down there and some pass-through storage central vac also down there and there's a couple led lights inside there you can also see the aluminum tube framing pre-wired for solar panel on the side if you wanted to do a portable solar panel that's there onan 5500 watt generator Room for a couple batteries also up in there. And there's the inverter system, another battery disconnect, and things like that also there. This was ordered with the optional More Ride pen box, which does help with a lot of the chucking and things like that, the starting and stopping takeoff of in-town towing and things.
Swintech slide here on this bedroom slide. You can see your generator exhaust down here. The other side of the pass-through storage compartment area right here, which has the jack controls. And then you have a little docking station area here with your cable satellite hookups, black tank flush, outside utility shower, water inlets, and stuff like that. Um, fresh water tank drain down below along with your gray and black tank dumps handles behind that little door right there. Um, I almost forgot here some spec information here. This particular camper, again 430RW, has ST23560R15G range tires, 7,000 pound axles, the gross vehicle weight rate the unit at 20,000 pounds. Again, guys, be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Another area here to dump the back uh, little half bath setup. There's another handle right there that you do have to pull behind that door. So you pull that handle, it goes on to the dump area in the front but you got to remember to do that there's a black tank flush right here for that also two fuel tanks one for the generator one for the toys and your fuel controls and stuff are there along with a little gas pump right there detachable power cord right there ladder on the back side here as well we'll step back a little bit let you look down this side a little bit easier Don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of the videos on these new RVs as they roll in. Toll free number to Couches RV Nation if you want to give them a call and check them out. 888-417-8299.